So hello everyone, welcome here and today we will discuss about the new topic in C programming world or any programming world because here logic will be same but syntax will be only different there parts, okay. So here we have to discuss about only uh, file handling topics, okay. So now this time we have to discuss about the file handling that is a copy one text test to the another text, okay. Means uh, we are going to, we are going to copy one files contains to the another files okay so here we have to discuss about that all these things their parts okay so let's what we will discuss today what we will uh, what we will study today so today we will see that how can we copy one files contents to the another files okay so suppose we have the uh, one file that is a task one two here we have the file okay task to have task 12 is the name of that file okay and here we have the content of that file okay you can see that you have the it is the content of that file so we should have the practical in a GUI mode we have to the we are going to the uh, control a control c to the copy and then we have to the create another file to the paste there okay so here we have the name is a paste for our file and then we have to the first uh, here all these things okay so here it, it has to the first here okay but what is the differences there okay so of uh, so here what is the differences we can see here that we have the first uh, here we have the first uh, file and second file is here okay but both files are also size name is equal that is a 36 uh, 36 byte and here also the size of this text uh, file is a uh, 36 okay but what is the differences there so only one thing will be different that will be what so we can see that here the name of this file is a task 12 okay but here we have the another file that name is a word so this name is a paste okay paste dot t x t okay it is an extension for the notepad okay so i want to say you something that how can we uh, today we will see that how can we copy one contents of any file to the another file okay so let's move to the our code blocks ide to understand all these logics okay so let's open this ide and then we have to the create a new project okay so uh, let's we have to the go to the c programming and then we have to the uh, name is a copy one content one files one files contains to the another file okay part is a uh, part will be three and then we have to the next and again next so we have the project name is a copy one files contains to the another file part three is our project's name okay so let's open this double click here and then it will be open the of uh, environment one file to write the source codes whatever we want to write there okay so here we can write everything whatever we want okay so let's we have to the uh, we, uh, firstly what we are going to do here we are going to copy the one contents of the any file to the another contents file, means another content uh, another uh, file okay one containers uh, one containers everything will be copy and paste to the another uh, container okay so it is the funda about today so let's we should have the two file because of uh, main design is what so because we have the uh, read from one file and second for write to the second file okay so we should have the two file that is a different different file uh, uh different different file maybe okay so let's we have to the create 
the file one and then we have to the uh, again we have the fp2 file pointer 2 and fp1 that is the file pointer 1 okay so it is the name of the variables that is a pointer variables means it will be hold the addresses of the file types of data okay so it will be hold the addresses of the file okay so whatever the file will be exist in the hard disk all these addresses will be contained by these uh, pointers okay so let's we have to the created to two pointers and then five pointers and then we have to the uh, we should have the um, suppose if we are going to create the file pointer and then what we are going to do we have to the read first of all the read and then we have to the write the contents because we have to the copy first and then paste there okay so let's we have to the we have the uh, one uh, we have the no care type okay so we have the uh, one one uh, array okay care and we have the name file name okay file name and this is a size of the array that is a 20 byte and then we have to the colon uh, semicolon okay and then it is a syntax of the creating the array as you know already okay if you don't know you can go to the youtube search box and then write the array in c okay so let's after that here we have to the uh, print the message uh, through the printf that uh, enter enter the source file name okay so first of all source file source, source file is what so source file is nothing but a file where from we are going to copy the contents of that file okay so enter the source file enter the source file name okay so here we have the uh, enter the source file name okay whatever will be exist in our projects okay in projects files means i will i will uh, practically see uh, show you all these things okay so let's it is the uh, message for the user okay and then we have to the use the backslash and in so why we are going to the backslash in so because of that main reason is what so main reason is a uh, means our cursor will be moved to the next line and for the next line and then after the printing this message we have to the read the data from the our source file okay so here we have to the open the file that is uh, on the uh, with the help of the fp1 okay so fp1 we hold the address of that file whatever will be exist to the source file okay so let's here you have the uh, open the source file that is a f open and then we have the we have the given the name of the source file that is a uh, whatever our okay so sorry for that okay so first of all after giving the message we should have the scan uh, scan the uh, data whatever the things will be uh, given by the user side okay so let's here we have the use the uh, a scan app to the scan all these things are their parts okay so it will be a scan the uh, file name okay so it is the syntax of the scanning of the any array uh, contents or any contents a string or any uh, means i want to say you that this syntax will be a scan means it will be hold the of uh, hold the user's uh, text is okay so it will be uh, responsible to the <coughs> cache the data and give to the this data okay so file name will be responsible for that okay so here it will be a store the file name here a store okay so file name will be stored here file name responsible for <coughs> a store the file name a store a store or hold 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 the <coughs> file name okay so it is the use of the this array file name okay so here we have the uh, a scan after scanning what we are going to do we have to the 
read the data from that source file okay so we have the source file is here that is a, here we have to the open that file point file with the help of the fp1 means fp1 is holding the address of the file pointer fp1 is a uh, itself pointer okay that is a itself a file pointer means it will be holding the address of the files okay in the hard disk so here we have the f open and then we have to the given the file name means whatever the file will be uh, we are going to, we will uh, give to the file name means whatever we will uh, user will be uh, user choice according to the according to the uh, user's choice of the file name source file of uh, this one will be here okay and then this is of syntax of the creating the file uh, in the uh, we are the opening the file in the read mode okay so for that we should have the here writing the r that is a read mode r for read mode okay so here we have the uh, open the file uh, that is a f file we have to the open that is name is a we don't know what is what will be the name here okay so here in user user uh, can give any names here okay file name will be anything anything any any name will be here but should be here but whatever we are going to create uh, whatever we are going to do uh, to uh, and here in the file handling we have to copy so first of all uh, we are where where is our project existing means here we have the pro project is existing so after that here we should have the we should have the files okay so here we have the uh, we can create a file that is a we can also uh, create any file and name is a uh, source okay so so uh, here it, it is the our file name and then here we have to the write anything okay okay so let's we have to the save that and so here one cab is showing because data will data is here okay so uh, any files whatever is here we can see main.c and also copy one files contains to another files okay so this uh, these three files contains we can easily access by the c programming world okay so here we can uh, access that okay so uh, i want to say you something that here we have to the uh, write the file name means uh, here a scanning a scanning time but at the scanning time maybe user will be give the main.c main.c or anything in their parts okay because choice will be according to the user user choice user side okay so here uh, file name may be anything okay so after that here we have to the open the file okay and after opening what we will do we should have the uh, also check data our uh, our file is existing or not means uh, our file pointer is pointing that file or not okay so for checking we should have the condition if fp1 that is a file pointer one is a holding the address of or not of the file okay so if it will be null means it will be not holding the address of any point any types of data any types of files so it will be a uh, printing we have to the give the message that uh, fp1 fp1 is not allocating fp1 is not allocating allocating uh, allocating any file okay so it is the our message whenever our file will be not holding by the file pointer okay and after that we have the else file else part okay so here we can also give the a message that your fp1 is uh, a holding is a holding uh, the address holding the address of file okay address of source file okay so it is the message source file so it is the message when our file will be holding by the any file pointer okay that is a fp1 or fp2 or anything else but here mainly we have to the use the fp1 to the hold 
to the uh, reading mode so fp1 will be responsible to the go there and uh, file name will be catch by this uh, file name by this file pointer and then it will be holding and then it will be opened in the read mode and all these things will be happen here so after else part we have to the after allocating we should have also one file another file for uh, we should have also one another file for why because we should have to the paste there all these contents of that file that is a source file okay so we have the we should have the destination file where we are going to the paste the all the text is to that file okay so here we are going to open again a new file that uh, with the help of the f2 f2 fp2 okay so fp in on uh, in the of the help by the help of the fp2 we are going to open the file that is a fp uh, file file uh, we are going to we are going to the open the file f open with the help of the f open and then we have to the uh, but before that we are going to we should also uh, give the message for the our user side that what will be uh, your file name for the where you uh, your destination file name where we are going to paste the all these contents of that file okay so let's again we have to the print the message that enter the uh, enter the destination file name okay enter the destination file name okay so here we have to the uh, give the message for the user please enter the destination file name okay so whatever is this one will be give and we have to the cache with the help of the scan app and we have to the scanning in the uh, in the uh, in that data area because it as you know that it, this one is also variable just like a variable okay uh, container container is what container will be holding the different different things at a different different time for maybe one same thing okay so here we have to the use two time one variable one array okay so let's here we have to the scanning with the help of the of uh, a scan app to the file name okay so we have to the cache again so data will be changed okay yes and after that we have to the open that file in the right mode okay so here we have to the give the file name because it is a syntax of the creating the file and uh, in the right mode we have to the opening the file in the right mode of any file okay so it is the syntax of that and here we have to the uh, give the right mode okay so what will be happen here file will be open as a right mode okay so file which file will be open here whatever the uh, given by the user side so, okay so file will be create and open in the right mode with the help of the fp2 we are going to holding the address of the file name whatever is as whatever is a scanning by that fp2 uh, means uh, a scanning in the file name again so this one will be responsible to the holding the address of the file name um, that is a de destination file name will be holding by the fp2 and fp1 is is holding the address of the fp1 is holding the address of the source file and destination file be um, file uh, address will be holding by the F fp2 pointer okay so after that what we are going to do we should have also the checking here okay so if condition will be here if f2 equal to equal to null then give the message the print f that fp2 is not allocated to the destination file okay means it will be it is not holding the address of the destination file okay yes good so and then backslash into the new line and then we have to the semicolon to the breaking that a statement here and then we are going to use the else condition else uh, part okay so after if by default it will be uh, else part okay 
so here we are going to also giving the uh, masses your fp2 your fp2 is holding holding the address of the holding the address of the destination file okay so it is holding the address of the destination file let's go to the let's uh, go on okay so it is the message whenever our fp2 is holding the address of the destination file where we have to the uh, paste the, all these contents so this one will be hold the address of that file okay and after that after the after the giving the message we should have the operation we should have the perform the operation to the uh, copy and paste there okay so first of all we should have also uh, we should have also one character one data uh, so we are going to i will and uh, i will introduce you that why we are going to the using the uh, this character okay so care temp or temp we have to the uh, another variable that is a character type of okay so we have to the taken and then we are going to perform the operation here okay so if uh, if get is if put is and if cares if get c and if put c will be responsible for the putting the address putting the contents one by one by the character okay so if uh, after the checking and giving the message we, we are going to the copy okay so first of all we have to the use the while loop why we will use i will i will uh, i will uh, give you everything that why we are going to the uh, use here okay so while one means opening it is the opening syntax means while while is open compile will be again and again it will be not, never it will be check the condition okay and here we are going to if get c if get c by because of we are going to read the data from the source file okay so here we have the source file is what so source file is holding by the fp1 okay so here fp1 be fp1 will be responsible for that so fp1 will be uh, getting the p and then p equals to means this one will be uh, f get c f put c means p will be holding no p will be not holding if here we have the temp variable so temp will be holding the uh, data means it will be hold the one by one characters of that file okay and then here we have the if put c okay so here we have the f put c and then we have to the pass the variable that where the data is holding so data character by character is holding with the help of the temp variable so here we have to use the temp and then scholar uh, comma and then file name uh, file pointer <laughs> where we are going to the uh, where we are going to the paste the contents one by one okay so we have the use the fp2 because fp2 is holding the address of that file okay that is the source destination file sorry for that destination file okay so this one will be holding that and after that what will be happen this one will be copy one contents and paste here this one will be responsible to the reading and also our fp1 is holding the uh, opening the uh, file in the read mode and fp2 is the write mode so f put c means put the data character by character in the find in the file okay 
एंड दिस वन इज द एफ गेट्स मीन्स वॉट फाइल गेट कैरेक्टर सो दिस वन विल बी गेट द कैरेक्टर्स मीन्स रीड द कैरेक्टर्स अगेन एंड अगेन एंड हियर वी है यूज द एफ पी वन इट इज द सिंटेक्स ऑफ ऑल दीज थिंग्स देर पार्ट ओके so here we have to the use the temp and then comma and then ap2 means where we are going to the uh, paste and here where from we are going to the uh, read and then after reading we should have also the holding that data so here we have the temp variable it is a character type okay so this one will be hold and then here it will be paste okay with the help of the this syntax and then this one will be off okay if but uh, i want to show you something that here we have to the use a condition if if a temp if a temp is less than equal less than 0 uh, then break okay so let's our source file has compiled successfully here you can see process terminated with the status 0 a status 0 means what a status a status 0 means no any error is occurring here okay no any uh, problems is existing here okay and after that it is taking the time by the compiler or cpu you can say uh, 0 minute and 0 second okay and zero errors, zero warning, and zero minutes and zero seconds. It is all these things are parts. Okay, so I want to show you something. I want to say you something that here we have the main dot object file, uh, and here we have the gcc dot exe file. You can go there and you can check that. Okay, I will show you uh, in the last date, last time. Okay, so after that I want to uh, uh, after the scanning we should have the run. Okay. So this one is the build and this is the run. So it is just giving the output. So what is the output here? So output is here. Okay. So enter the source file name. So we have to the see that we have the source file that is a also we have the file is existing that there. So what is existing we can see yes let's see here that which is uh, how, how much file is there so let's go to the our projects yes we have the, the you can see that here we have the these files we can uh, scan and copy the contents of that file and then paste <laughs> paste that so uh, to the destination file okay so let's here we have the uh, we are uh, we are uh, mainly we have to the uh, scan this all these things all these contents of the main.c to the different file okay so what will be file so i want to say you something that here we have the uh, this these things so uh, i want to delete uh, okay no no okay uh, so uh, we will destination file will be there so main.c we are going to the read and we will create the another file at the run time okay and file will be create and data will be paste there okay so let's yes enter the source file name okay so we are going to enter the file name that is that will be the destination destination dot okay 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 sorry for that uh, source full um, no 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 main dot c because source is the we have to the see that we have to i have already said said to you that we will uh, scan the main dot c all these things so whatever we have to the write source codes all these things will be copy okay so file pointer one is holding the address of the source file okay so enter the destination file 
so uh, ap1 is holding and after that we have to the ap2 to the uh, right mode so we have to enter the destination file name okay so we have to the give the destination destination dot txt is a file name okay so this file name will be create there and then your fp2 is holding the address of the destination file let's go on okay so our file has to create it that name will be destination dot txt it have to create it in the run time okay in the run time environment this file have to create it okay so let's check that whatever uh, this yes we can see here that we have the destination file here okay that size is a 828 white okay so let's check it what is existing here so you can see here okay everything is here and one thing is here uh, in extra okay so uh, that is a here unique things okay so we can also do that but no it's a, it's why it's created by the uh, compiler and it's created in the run time okay no no compile okay so it have to it have to the uh, to the copy from that this source code and this destination file okay yes so we can see that source file is a uh, our main dot c and destination file is the desti destination dot txt okay so it is a uh, uh, we have to the copy one files contains to the another file we can see here easily okay and after that if we want and i want to say you something that why we have to uh, use these things here that is a condition we are going to checking that temp will be a uh, smaller than the zero means when data will be not getting okay so if data will be not getting then break okay so suppose our data will be uh, our data will be finish from the source file then what will be happen it will be go to the looping concept it will be uh, it will be go to the infinite loop okay so this one will be a scanning and putting uh, 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 every time means uh, it, this one will be go to the infinite time okay so this may be a problem occur so we have to the use the break to the break the all these things here okay if data will be not there and here we have to the uh, edit something so why we have to the do that we can see okay so if uh, this one will be happen then we have to the print the message that your file your file have your file your files contains contains con okay contains successfully successfully copied and paste okay paste to the destination file so this one will be message after the all these things okay uh, after the after the operation in <laughs> yes so let's f9 control if the control f control f9 and control f10 enter the source file name so again we have to the write the main dot c and then destination file is a destination dot destination only um, desti destin dot c okay so what will be happen your fp2 is holding and here we have the message your file one is, uh, your files contain successfully copied to the copied and paste to the destination file okay yes so let's check again and again so here we have the again we have the uh, different file that is a destin where we can see and this is the dot c file okay and here all these things is copy and paste and after that i want to show you something uh, yes i want to when we are going to put the data can we read we are going to can we print we are going to see okay 
so let's see here what will be happen modulus c and then we have to the yes so let's main dot c or source dot c okay so we have also source dot txt source dot c when we are going to write then it will be you can see that what will be happen fp1 is not allocated okay fp1 is holding the address of source file fp1 is not holding fp1 is holding the address of source file why is it happening we can see because the main reason is here that we have the uh, not using the else concept else we have the uh, okay so it is the main reason so let's do that if while and then here we can also use that here okay so let's check that what will be happen so let's we are going to the um, use the main dot c to the copy no we are going to the source because we have also the source file source dot txt not c file okay dot txt file so oh what's happened enter is going on. sorry for that because our keyboard is <laughs> damaged some uh, okay so enter the destination file name okay so we have to the destination file name is name will be uh aritis c1 dot txt and then enter so we can see here that we uh, our contents is here let's go on means after that we have the all these things have to the showing with the help of the print okay so it is uh, scanning again and again and printing okay so let's see here that what is happening so uh, our file is where so our file is uh, yes here our file that is a copy one file contains here yes we can see that it is one is the, our all these things what's happening here Hmm. Why is it formatting? I want to. I don't. I confused right now because it is not the real text. Okay. So let's again. We have to do that. Then what will happen? We are going to see main dot c and then we have the destination file that is a retest.c okay so all these things have to printed here we can see okay yes so again and again it have to the print the uh, character by character with the help of the modulus c okay So let's check again. Ritis dot c is here. Data is real form in the in here we have the data is uh, in a real form. Okay, but uh, here why is the in the dish uh, is it is the uh, where is that file? Yes, Ritis Sivan. Yes, so what the main reason here? We will. Mm. So again, we have to the do that. Then what will happen? We are going to see Ritesh Sivan dot txt. Okay, so let's Ritesh Sivan. We are going to the uh, read from that Ritesh Sivan. Ritesh Sivan dot txt. And then oh, oh we'll write the destination. So Raju Bhai dot C okay. Your file is holding the address of the destination file. It's gone. 
yes we can see here it is the uh, uh, working it's working all these things is in the in the uh, um, normal text is here but here why is it showing the uh, different things we can see here okay so after some time we will discuss about that what's the reason that here it is uh, showing the formatted data okay so let's uh, so today we have to the discussed about that how can we do that means how can we copy one contents file one files contents to the another file okay so today we have to the only understand by the uh, with the help of the character by character and f get c and through the f get uh, f get c and f put c so today your homework will be using the f put s and f get s and then file handling means you we should have the file copy uh, one contents and to the another contents it's your homework okay not homework your it's your responsibility okay so let's meet you again and again if you have any question with the uh, in this session you can ask me with the help of the description box okay so let's meet you again and again Bye.